Welcome to the Michigan Runner Show. Join us each time as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great sport. to a museum right next door, the Archaeological Museum here. And uh, you can see they've got a big mural here and uh, all kinds of things that went on since the beginning of time in this area. Some fossils, lots of fossils here. A skull. They used to have the uh, bully mammoths here. They used to use a bow and arrows and then this ferocious looking bear that must have come out of the mountains he's pretty big that's a and then ancient borderland of petroglyphs there's the mountains right behind us it's called the Franklin Mountains here some pottery some right there it's called the Jornado Magellan so that's the area we're here in when the indians used to live here all the pottery mesa birdie that's over in colorado up in northern up in northern new mexico and colorado where they meet arizona all the pottery along here and the indians in their day okay Interesting. Uh, the macaw bird is highly uh, revered down here. Beautiful um, birds, to say the least. Yep. We have a St. Patrick's Day skeleton here. And here in the Archaeological Museum, it says exploring the past. The woolly mammoths. Okay, so the adobe homes that used to be built up around here. The cliff dwellings, those are all the Mesa Verde. Slaying a woolly mammoth in their day. That's their cooking pot, their cooking uh, adobe pot. Done a good job here recreating what native life was around here. I'll leave a cliff dwelling. Pretty cool. The Casa Grandes. It's in the uh, That was the Casa Grande uh, culture. And some of their huts they used. Archaic hunters and gatherers. Historic encounters. Oh, they were from Alaska, the Mescalo Apache. They're originally from Alaska and Canada. The Alaskan speaking Apache and Navajo entered life in the Southwest sometime between zero and 1,000 years ago. 
getting more mobile with the horse. This is a very good recreation of native life. They did a great job in this. Pretty cool. Yes. Archaeological sites in northeast El Paso. Yeah. Do a lot of digging around here for all this. Kind of cool. Well, I went by this year. This is pretty cool. This is called the Spirit Dancers. The Mescalina Apache believed the world was full of supernatural spirits who protect them with a properly pieced. Mass dancers like the ones depicted here impersonate the mountain spirits in a ceremony to show appreciation for the protection these supernatural entities have provided the Mescalera people. That is pretty cool. They did a great job. Like I said, depicting native um, native life before the white man came. Pretty cool. And this is pretty cool. A 900 year old tree. Give or take. It's at around 1,000 is where the center of the tree is, give or take. And um, so, and then it just started 1,000. They're talking in 1492, Columbus arrives to America. Obviously, Fort Bliss was constructed in 1893. Uh... The Mexicans defeat the French in the Battle of the Pebble. That's 1860. Texas became a republic in 1836. Pacho Verde raids Columbus, New Mexico in 1916. And that's when the tree kind of had hit its peak. A 900-year-old tree. That is pretty cool. Okay, here's the animals of the desert. A javelin. Uh, was a mountain lion, coyote. Of course, always down at the bottom. Uh, good old wonderful, uh, some type of, uh, I'm sure they got rattlesnakes in here. Diamondback rattlesnake. Yeah, all the animals of the uh, Chichina Desert. And then the tracks. Plants of the Chichina Desert. This is a great little museum. I'm loving it. And then... This is showing some of the mountains up here. The Franklin Mountains from the air. We're just down here at the base of them. Oh, yeah. The mineral, all the minerals that, the rocks and minerals that are in the ground here. There's a variety of things here. And this is uh, kind of their cooking hut that the natives used. And here's, uh, like I said, this is just a phenomenal little museum. And they built this museum in the 70s, they started it, and in 18, seven, 1974, and uh, was dedicated October 12, 1977. It's so been here almost 50 years. It is a cool museum, and it's free. This is a nice museum. It's right next to the um, Border Patrol Museum, and they are free. Pretty cool. This is an archaeology museum, and of course this talks about what they do. Uh, obviously they usually dig into the ground and find out what's there, but it can be other things, in the buildings, whatever. Here's a, a sample of what you can find when you start digging into the ground. And some of the tools, a trowel, a paintbrush, you never know what you're going to find in the ground. It's pretty cool. Like I said, this is a nifty little museum. I am impressed. It's really cool. Gives you a good archaeological or, you know, experience of the El Paso area. Pretty neat. And this is our little lobby right here. Outside the desert here. Some plants along here on the outside of it. There's the Franklin Mountains, like I said. This is right next to the... Uh, um, Border Patrol Museum, which is kind of cool, and uh, just a solid adobe type building. You see El Paso Museum of Archaeology. 
all the different pl plants out here. This is a nice, cool museum. The Desert Willem Membry, like I said. Okay, cool. And there it is. Let's get back a few steps, get a little better view of it. Right there, there it is. Well, notice wild animals live here and snakes and coyotes. Texas Wildscapes Wildlife Habitat Demonstration Site. Yeah, I can believe it. We're kind of right on the verge of being out in the wild. And there's the whole building. Pretty cool.